don't even know where to start. I keep looking down there seeing Greg and going, man, what's he doing here? You know what? He's probably making the same thing right about now. He qualified in number five spot in a brutal pro stock field here in Texas. In the opening round, Warren Johnson couldn't stop him. In the second round, Alan Johnson couldn't stop him. He won the bizarre race of the day there in that semifinal against Mike Edwards. Hey, they say sometimes you need a lucky break. In the final, that wasn't luck. That was Summit Horsepower by two thousandths of a second. Welcome back to the winner circle, Mr. Greg Anderson. Dude, most people didn't know this. He was playing wounded all day long. And in a pro stock car, you shift with your right hand, but your left was holding the wheel, and when those things are shaking and rattling, and you got uh, your wrist taped up, you had to be about to cry every time you let the clutch out. It was, it was incredible. I, I've never, ever gone to the starting line thinking, you know what, if I lose, I'm going to be all right with you. My hands are so bad. It, uh, it's stupidity last night. I heard it in the gym last night, and I don't have a good excuse. And uh, I almost couldn't drive the car today, but uh, you know, I guess you needed something like that to take your mind off of the chase and the countdown and all the pressure and everything. And uh, I don't know, I don't have any limbs left, so I don't care to do this again next week, but you got the job done. And I thank you all. You guys are great fans. Great race back. Absolutely beautiful day. And ask for any more now. You mentioned the countdown. You needed a day like this to get yourself back in the fight. I did. You know, you, you, you can't win the thing in the first race or two, but you can absolutely take yourself out of it. And if I lost first round again today, which, believe me, I have thoughts, and I just haven't had a great car all week, and it hasn't been very fast, but it's been smooth, been consistent, and it got the job done. The other guys made mistakes, and we didn't make any mistakes. My hands off to the crew, they dug in, and they worked on her every round, and it was just enough. It was definitely by 2,000, just about five inches down there, 207 miles an hour. It's been a little bit of a lean year, but as we've seen with the countdown, you get hot right now, that's what really counts. Yeah, it really nothing else counts right now. It's kind of the opposite of previous years for me. I've come into the countdown meeting and haven't walked away with a trophy. So this year I, uh, I really struggled through the year and, and I felt I was keeping at the right time coming into the countdown. And last week it didn't show up, but today we were a pretty solid car. And uh, Boss, another race to try and go home and find some performance to catch that Mike Edwards guy. Man, he is bad to the bone. And, uh, I got a heck of a break in the semifinal there. I got to thank Mike. But other than that, we had just fantastic great races all day, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I know I definitely did. A couple of days off, we'll do it again in Memphis. Nice job, Megan. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Right